Hey everyone, today we're in a Audi TT RS and I'm going to show you how to check your magnetic suspension. So this is a follow-up video to my previous one. I'll put a link up here or the video link will be down in the description below. So this is a follow-up to that and how to run the test procedure in your car. So what you want to do is you want to locate where your sports button is if you're in a TT RS. If you're in a TTS or if you're in a S3 or a different model with magnetic ride suspension, that sometimes is located here. So you'll have the sports button here and you'll have the magnetic ride suspension option or button as a separate input over here. What you want to do is take your key, put it into your ignition, turn the ignition on, come back to your sport button over here, Press and hold the sport button. Now you see it's flashing. So now it's in test mode is, has been activated. So now all four corners, so all four shocks will be energized, front, rear. And I'll go outside and show you that shortly. And when you want to get out of it, press and hold again. That turns that off and that turns that off there. And then you can just go ahead and turn off your ignition. Also, another thing you want to watch out if you think you possibly have a fault with your system, when you turn in the ignition, you see that magnetic shock symbol there. It should go off. And I'll start the car now and, you, and that light should not be on. See how that light is off? Even after a drive, that light should not be on. If you do see that light on, then there's a fault somewhere with the level sensor or possibly with the control module or wiring or something similar. So now I'll demonstrate with the ignition off and with the sport button off, the rear axle, and I'll just show you the shocks. What I'll do is I'll open the boot so it's easier and it's a bit safer to press on the monocoque. So now if I push it down here it should not be so now if I leave it it does catch a rebound but now I'll, what I'll do is I'll disable the handbrake and I'll show you the difference because the rear calipers they lock onto the discs so now with the handbrake disabled, I'll just watch the difference. So just make sure you always disable your handbrake. So this, this is barely any force. I would say this is less than about 30 kgs of force I'm putting here. It's catching the rebound, but it's still too soft. So now I'll go inside and just energize the sport button as I showed you earlier. So now the sport button is energized and now it's in the test mode. So now watch what happens. You can see I'm basically jumping off it and it's not even shaking. So I can get a helper just to um, also just jump on the back just to show you. So before you saw there was less than 20 kgs or 30 kgs I would say of force I was putting on. Now we've got two people on. We're both pushing it and it's just absolutely stiff. So you might be wondering if it's still stiff why is it playing up? It's because these shocks have leaked, so under this sort of force it's fine. But even then, if you look, if you just can just push it. Even then, with just that amount of force, look how it's compressing down. It's still compressing down. So imagine when you're actually taking a corner and you've got a lot of G-force on either side of the car. What's happening is this whole shock because of the fluid that's leaked out. It's just essentially forcing the wheel into the wheel arch and it's not 
it's not providing the support that it's required so hence the reason why the light is not on on the dash that i showed you earlier so there's no fault codes as such with it but the shocks just leak over time and it's a real common fault on the audi s3s the ttrs's and most of the mag uh, suspension setups on audis so just to show you now well i'll go ahead and put sports mode off so i'll come back in here so while he's pushing it watch what happens i'll put it off and now it's disabled keys are here in my hand so that's with the sports mode off you can see it, it does start compressing a lot easier for comfort mode but that is excessive play so now that we tested the rear so i'll show you the front now the key is here with me so the ignition is not on we'll just go try the front out we'll push that up so what we'll do is we won't push on the hood otherwise you can damage it because a lot of this car is just aluminium so you have to be really careful so now on the front this is with it disengaged key is still here so what i've noticed over the years is the front shocks generally don't play up as much as the rears so the front shocks in this car are really good so now that's with the sports button disengaged so it's not on test mode now i'll go inside and just put it on test mode so you can watch now because the back is being pushed down so now i'll engage sports and you will see it immediately stop bouncing you saw that pretty much instantly if i'm not mistaken they, they push between about 8 to 10 amps per shock on each side through the control module so now going to the front while that's still engaged notice the front have also gone it's become quite stiff so on this car there's never been an issue with the front shock absorbers it's only the rears that have leaked and again like i said just refer back to my previous video you can have a look at that when i pulled out the shock of this car and i've we've shown you where it's leaked on from an audi s3 one of those shocks and where they normally leak okay so we've got the other s3 shock absorber this is the one that wasn't uh, featured in the previous video that's just an example when the sports button is disengaged we'll just show you now this is a failed shock just with a little bit of force it's compressing and it comes up straight away and that's barely any force so what we'll do next is in that same position we will get the adjustable rear shock absorber and i'll show you that now so the previous shock that you saw was a mag ride shock now this is a just a mechanical type adjustable shock absorber so we'll show you now we'll just push it down and just watch the rebound so i'll take you in a bit closer so just watch it that's what you want to see a controlled resistance not just a abrupt in and out movement i'll just we'll do it just one last time for demonstration purposes as you saw there that's what you want so that will control the wheel hop on the rear which it's not doing at the moment and just for one final demonstration we'll just use the magnetic right shock again and you see how it instantly just retracts back up it's not something you want to see stay tuned when we are going to install the adjustable suspension i'll run you through the whole process and i'll also run you through the delete kit as well um, you can use vcds to code out the system so code out the module but the problem is traction control a lot of the times uh, as i was saying traction control is disabled when you code out the module um, through long coding so we'll be using a delete kit and i'll explain all that process when we come to installing the new shocks so stay tuned for that so this shock that we were testing earlier this was the part number it's a 8po audi tt's uh, 8jo numbers so this is a magride 
shock absorber in case anyone else has it and you want to confirm that's the part number there again you can watch my video link will be down in the description where we uh, i've run through the whole comparison between the rdt trs shock and the s3 shock and the part numbers so make sure you're subscribed so when we upload the next video when we're going to be installing this adjustable shock absorber you'll be notified and you'll be able to watch that the reason why we're going for an adjustable type setup is simply because these are rebuildable and they're a lot more cost effective and they do last a bit longer than the factory audi shock absorbers so this one's got full camber adjustment it's um, fully adjustable body type adjustment on the coilover system but we'll run through the, all of this in the next video and don't forget to give us a like so more people can fix their issues on their cars and campers and don't forget to check out all the other videos either through my channel or down in the description below all the links will be there thanks for watching everyone see ya.